Good morning. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 decision that I'm gonna go get my tatted I literally saw someone post it on their Instagram story and I was like I want that and I literally booked an appointment like two days later and today's that day I'm a little nervous I'm a little scared I have two tattoos and they didn't hurt when I got them but people always say I got them in like the like pussy spots the spots are like of course not gonna hurt there and now I'm like going full on yayas. But I feel like it's just perfect to do it right before the summertime. I'm being a whore. Anyways. You're thirsty? Go drink the apple juice that mama has. No. Go drink the apple juice mama has. So I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna start heading out because it's like an hour and some change away and I wanna be there early, I wanna be on time. You know the deal, Leo. Let's go. All right, so I'm dressed to go. I'm literally just wearing cargoes and rain boots because it's raining today. Um, but I decided to wear this sweater because I feel like just, this just makes sense. Like I could just like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I literally just told my sister-in-law. She's like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on? And I was like, we never know. I don't know. You don't know. I never know. Like, fuck it. Bye. Say bye-bye. Look how he just stands there watching me leave. All right. It's time to go. I just went to Dunkin'. I got a free latte. And I got and everything bagel with cream cheese. So, I just wanna, I don't know, I wanna chitty chat. I wanna chitty chat before I do this. First of all, this is very spontaneous. I just got my first tattoos in October. And from someone that was raised to believe that like tattoos are not good and that they're not okay. I mean, I wouldn't say my parents, like my parents never raised me to like judge people who had tattoos, but they definitely were like, y'all better not be out here tatting yourselves. So I waited till I was 25 to get my first tattoo and I should have vlogged it and I didn't. But I might have a clip or something but um I waited for so long and the thing with me is I'm just so tired of being inspired by people and doing absolutely nothing with that inspiration I want to be the type of person that wants to do something knows that she wants to do it and just does it like I'm so tired of thinking of what other people are gonna think about or how other people are gonna perceive me when at the end of the day the only people that matter in my life the only opinions that matter in my life are my family's opinions just so happens that some people in my family don't want me to do this but i don't know i think it's just a matter of growing up it's just finding who you are finding your identity and most importantly over everything expressing yourself freely and expressing yourself the way that you feel fit you know we're only on this world once you're only gonna live once you gotta do what you want to do I'm a type of person, I'd rather do it and regret doing it than not do it and regret never doing it. Does that make sense? Like, I'd rather just, I'd rather say I'm sorry 
than ask for permission. <laughs> I'm really, 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 really excited. I've been wanting to do this for like two days. <laughs> what this signifies for me, like maybe to other people, it's like, oh, she's just trying to be sexy and get a boob tat. No, like for me, it's just more of finally wanting to do something and just acting on it. Like not thinking about the consequences, yes or no, the pain or this or that, like just going for it and doing it. And it's a, it's one step into like me living the life that I know that I want to live where if I want to do something, I just go do it because it's what I want and because it's my life and because I deserve to do whatever the fuck I want to do. As long as you're not hurting yourself or other people, go for it, bro. Just fucking go for it. Okay, I just got here. I just parked. It is now like setting in what the fuck I'm about to do. <coughs> Bitch, I'm fucking crazy. I know I am. I know I am, but I'm so excited. This is gonna sit up. Oh my god. This is the man that's gonna see my boobs <laughs> for like three mm -hmm. hours. I'm, I'm like, Sorry. I'm like super shy. Ah! Oh. Okay, see? I like this though. I love this. Boom. Go I like this. I think this is like better than what I was picturing because in my head I had no idea what I wanted. Yeah, this looks pretty cool, actually. I like it. Guys, I'm so nervous. He's not nervous. Me? I'm like. Dance. I just can't talk. <laughs> you can just dance on here. He's not gonna talk, he's just gonna dance. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my thing too, is I feel like I'm really like pretty. Yeah, so I, I don't wanna... want anything like. Yeah, because this is the thing that happens with big lines, is just kind of dick it. And dick it. And it's gonna like confuse. Like, yeah, I've noticed that with like. Yeah. Oh, so, like, I don't wanna give you a big line unless you have like big line tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least we have good lighting, you know? Right. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. It's going to be an interesting sensation. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, that's all. That's not bad. That spot isn't bad though. You got like 12 spots to hit. Okay, so well, that's what's scary. That was hit. Okay, the first spot isn't bad. So anyways, how was your morning? The way he designed it, like I'm so happy he like free sketched and did his own thing because I could have not picked this out for myself. I love it though, I love it. The paint is not that bad. It's like a two out of 10 and I'm really bad with paint. I'm like 70% done. <laughs> the pain, honestly, like only certain spots really hurt, but we're almost done and I just can't wait to see the finish. This looks so good. I love this. Thank you. You like said that it. shit. I'm obsessed. I think it's like actually perfect. I literally wish I could show you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a fucking science project. They still want to go on your nipple. Like, I don't know. Alleviate some pain. <laughs> I feel like that was like a cute picture. I was screenshotting. Yeah. The biscuit. Was that fucked up that I just took some biscuit? Like, <laughs> you can, camera you can take the biscuit. <laughs> Uh, can I like be in a vlog? Like that's kind of fucked up. I just haven't put you because I didn't know if you wanted to be in it. I think that's like kind of fucked up. Hey guys. I I'm just wanted to be now. nice, you and know. Clearly she doesn't want me to be in the vlog. She's like hiding me and shit. <laughs> now we see who the problem I'm is. being respectful. I'm here trying to be confident and shit. I'm camera. What'd you got? 
talking to her people. What I got, you got? Um, no, just just fucking kill it, stab it. <laughs> I hear that. I got um, ASMR. Hey guys, I got um. What the fuck? Give us a haul, please. I got a five-piece tender combo with a, a really large fucking sweet tea. Mhm. Mm like really large. <laughs> And now I have two biscuits with a side of um, mashed potatoes because I be dipping my shit in there a bit. <laughs> and that's about it. No, you just got apple pie. Huh? You just got apple pie. Oh, and and I got this apple pie. <laughs> oh my god, not the not the influencer. <laughs> I got this apple pie, and that's about it. It's, yeah, it was, it, she, she, she she almost got me with the two for three forty nine though. Yeah, honestly, when she said that, I, I was, was like, like, she said that, and I was like, maybe I want the the blueberry cheesecake. Yeah. But then you said no, and I was like, damn, what if I wanted a dessert? You know what you I mean? Say yeah. But you already said no. I am. So I was like, just to be mindful and you respectful. You should have been like, ah. No. Blueberry cheesecake. You didn't ask. You know what I mean? Yes, I talked to you. You're gonna put it in food anyways. Hi guys. So. It's the next day, obviously. We're still all taped up. I guess let's just close off this video with my final thoughts so far. Like I said before, I know people are gonna look at it as like a sexual tat, and I mean, to a sense, like, let's be fucking for real. But like I said, it's more of just having the balls to do what I wanted to do and to not think about what anyone else thinks. A lot of people don't know this, but I come from a very traditional Dominican family. Uh, not to mention very religious parents so i try to always be mindful and respectful of other people's opinions or not disappointing people and i just feel like the older i get i need to come to terms with the fact that this is who i am and i need to be who i am and i need to feel free in being who i am and those that are in your life are supposed to love you unconditionally you know, I feel like a lot of times people care so much about people's appearance and what they look like on the outside and no one cares about like the inside. A lot of people that say that they do care about the inside, they really just want the inside to match the outside. Like they do care about the inside, but they want it to match. And at the end of the day, you can be tatted up looking crazy but as long as you're a good ass person, like that's all that really should matter. But I did want to talk about the pain too. So um one to ten i'm gonna rate it like a four it's very tolerable pain like and i have a very low pain tolerance so i'm gonna rate it like a four but around the nipple and like this area that was like heavy six i'm gonna say but like i said super tolerable and it's quick stroke so it's not even like you're sitting there for like in one spot for like hours you know the tattoo itself took like three and a half hours i'm gonna say i was there for like over three hours um but that's why it's also important to find a tattoo artist that you feel comfortable with and that it's not awkward it's not weird like i vibed so much with flakes like i love him so much i met him the first time and i was like where have you been all my life i want to be your best friend but yeah so with that being said i know i made a little vlog on tiktok and someone was like oh my god i want to see your family's reaction i'm not going to get their reaction um just because i already know how certain people in my family are gonna feel. Anything that I do, it's never intentionally to hurt anyone. It's just to express myself and to be who I am. And that's really it, I guess. Thanks for watching this video. I'll definitely get more tats and vlog and all that stuff, but I wanna just come on here and do more of like a detailed talking talking through this process with you guys because i don't want you guys to just think like just don't want people to think that i'm just like walling out like yes i guess if you're looking at it from the outside it's like okay she's doing so much but what people don't understand is i'm finally in this chapter of my life where i 1000 percent feel comfortable being myself i finally have the balls to do anything and everything that i want to do and i feel this like overwhelming freedom to just be who i am and just express myself as i please and let's be for real you express yourself in different ways and one of the ways that you can express yourself is through your appearance thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys i'll talk to you guys in the next one